And even with the mass exodus of teachers from Jamaica, schools in the United States continue to struggle to fill the vacancies. The career section of the Sunday Gleaner, a week before the scheduled start of the new school year. It tells the tale of the situation which has befallen the local education sector, from public schools to private, primary to secondary institutions. The teacher shortage is far-reaching. It's left to be seen how quick the vacancies will be filled. It's a similar situation in the United States. Several schools have reopened without critical staff. It appears the mass exodus of teachers from Jamaica and other Caribbean territories has done little to fill the posts left by American educators. In the Nevada school district, classes resumed Monday with over 1,400 job vacancies for administrators and teachers. In West Virginia, Van Elementary did not open as planned last Friday due to a staff shortage. The school is part of the Boone County where there are more than one 1,000 teacher vacancies. In Rhode Island, the Education Commissioner says districts across the state are also facing challenges. Almost all the districts are experiencing it and we are working really hard with incentives to attract teachers to Rhode Island. The New York Times quotes a national survey by Education Week which notes that nearly three-fourths of principals and district officials said this summer the number of teaching applicants was not enough to fill their open positions. There's also a demand for specialist teachers in the areas of math, science and special education. Ironically, the teachers are leaving the classroom in droves due to, among other things, low pay. In the UK, media reports reports suggest that schools in England are struggling to retain experienced teachers and attract new ones. Over in Australia, the situation has been described as a teacher drought. British Columbia and New Brunswick in Canada are also facing a crisis.